Welcome, Deronda here with Foods 101. Today, I have a request. My subscriber named Tim would like to know how to make popovers. Popovers are these very light, hollow rolls that are absolutely delicious with your stews, your soups, your morning breakfasts. They're great with jams, butters. They're absolutely fantastic. And all you need is six ingredients. The ingredients you are going to need is one cup of whole milk, make sure it's at room temperature, three eggs, also at room temperature, a half of a teaspoon of kosher salt, one cup of all-purpose flour, and one-fourth of a cup of vegetable oil, or another oil that will handle high heats, such as canola oil or corn oil. Let me show you how we're gonna get these started. Here's my popover pans, and I've got my oven preheated to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Below the popover pans, I'm just gonna use a baking sheet or a cookie sheet, and in the middle of each of these, I'm going to add a teaspoon of our vegetable oil in each. Now, these are gonna go off in the preheated 375 degree oven for 15 minutes. The secret to these popovers is to have these very hot pans we're gonna bake our popovers in. I'm just adding my eggs into a large mixing bowl along with the milk. And with a whisk, I'm gonna whisk this about one minute. So you can get that egg and milk very well incorporated. Next, I'm going to sift my flour into the milk and egg mixture along with the salt. And this is going to make this batter a little bit more airy. It doesn't take very long to do. We're going to whisk this for about one minute, maybe two. Just make sure you don't have any lumps left here in your batter. After two minutes of whisking your batter here, we're gonna test it. If it runs smoothly off the back of the spoon, you know it's ready for those hot popover pans. So to get the batter prepared to pour in those hot pans, I'm gonna pour it here in a measuring cup. I need to get every little bit of that batter because it's so absolutely delicious and it smells so good. And it'll make it much easier to pour in those popover pans. Just took out the hot pans from the oven and now we're going to add the batter. It's gonna sizzle. We're just gonna add the batter about three-fourths of the way up. These are gonna be scrumptious. These go back in the oven on 375 degrees for the next 25 minutes and no peaking. Popovers have baked and look how beautiful those are. I'm gonna take it off the cookie sheet there and I'm gonna show you how lovely and fabulous those are. Looky there, oh my goodness. You wanna get them out of their pans as quickly as possible and you can just lie it here on a cooling rack. Now these turned out massive in size what you can do is add less batter here to your popover pan and you're gonna have them a little bit smaller. If you're not gonna serve these right away, you wanna take a lip knife, like a paring knife, and stick it right here in the side so your steam can escape. If not, you're gonna have these collapsed popovers. And I'm gonna show you how lovely and crispy they are on the outside and how lovely and tender they are on the inside. Just absolutely look at that, y'all. Now, with mine, I'm gonna take a little bite here. I'm gonna add a little butter to it, just like that. And I'm gonna add a little honey. Now, these are great with soups and stews. They're super with your jams and your scrambled eggs in the morning, but I'm gonna tell you what these taste like. Mmm. Mmm, lovely. Mmm, magnificent. Mmm, that crunchy outside. Mmm, and that lovely custard like is absolutely fantastic, y'all. I'm Deronda with Foods 101. 
Leave me a comment. Give me thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram. Thanks a million for watching, y'all, and I'll get you next time. Mm -hmm.